The MyPillow CEO, Mike Lindell, he capped off his embarrassing week of conservative media by releasing a three hour breakdown of what he claims was a fraudulent election in 2020, as we already know. The document is called Absolute Proof. Speaking of Joe Pike, we had absolute truth back in the day. And it was aired on conservative network OAN after Lindell's claims of voting machine corruption on conservative Newsmax. That ended after one of those anchors walked off in legendary now a meme worthy fashion. Cause he was unable to contain Mike Lindell and all of his conspiracy theories. So despite all those huge warning signs, OAN has decided to go ahead and, and run this thing from Mike Lindell. So The Hill explains the way they want to begin this though. So The Hill says the conservative channel, which over the last several months aired false claims about the election, is putting a disclaimer on the Lindell film stating that it is paid programming and quote, Opinion only. They went on to say smart, uh, smart, uh, smart tech early this week sued Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, two of former Trump former attorneys, uh, Fox News, and three of its hosts for libel in a $2.7 billion case, uh, accusing them of spreading false claims about the company related to the election. So we know Smartastic and Dominion uh, have been going, um, well, threatening a lot of these lawsuits, but they actually filed those few there. So with that in mind, um, let's listen to the way that OAN started. This big breaking thing from a Mike Lindell. Michael James Lindell has purchased the airtime for the broadcast of this program on One America News Network. Mr. Lindell is the sole author and executive producer of this program and is solely and exclusively responsible for its content. The topic of this broadcast is the 2020 election. OAN has undertaken its own reporting on this topic. This program is not the product of OAN's reporting. The views, opinions, and claims expressed in this program by Mr. Lindell and other guests, presenters, producers, or advertisers are theirs and theirs alone and are not adopted or endorsed by OAN or its owners. In particular, OAN does not adopt or endorse any statements or opinions in this program regarding the following entities or people. U.S. Dominion, Inc. and any related entities. Smartmatic USA Corp, Brian Kemp, Brad Raffensberger, or Gabriel Sterling. Further, the statements and claims expressed in this program are presented at this time as opinions only and are not intended to be taken or interpreted by the viewer as established facts. I can't figure all that out. I've got a couple of attorneys, uh, Jenk, I don't know if you're practicing anymore, but we do have Adrian Lawrence here. Um, can you guys clear this up for me? What does all this mean? So I'll do the layman's version because I was an attorney for all of nine months. And then we'll take <laughs> to our actual legal expert, Adrian. Uh, my interpretation of that is we're about to lie to you in a massive way. And this is our very weak attempt to try to cover our ass. Adrian, over to you. Uh, That would be very accurate, Jenk. It seems that they're trying to create this disclaimer so they can avoid potential liability if they're sued for defamation. Uh, And the thing is, it's not how it works. You don't just get to throw up a disclaimer and say, ah, you know, hey, uh, we wash our hands of this. No, you're airing it. It is your responsibility as a reporting network. Uh, The thing that I think would be smarter and that they may have done behind closed doors, this network, is to uh, have an indemnity agreement between Lindell and the network in the event that the network were to get sued for defamation as a result of broadcasting this, that Lindell would be responsible for their legal fees and whatnot. But hopefully, you know, that they have truly covered their tracks because I don't think this disclaimer really does it. You know what? That's such a great point, Adrian. And I'd forgotten that. And and my guess is that the folks who run away and aren't that bright. And so I'm not sure that they actually did cover themselves by getting that indemnity clause. And I'm not sure that Lindell would have agreed to it because they're all getting sued and they're gonna lose. Uh, I don't know how much money they're gonna lose, but they're gonna lose because pretty much everything in that documentary is a lie. Uh, And it's a three hour documentary. Uh, By the way, who can sit through that? God, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and then, and they think like, oh, we ran a 90 second disclaimer, we're all good. You know, they're running the documentary back to back for 12 straight hours. No, the 90 seconds in the beginning doesn't cover it. That's not how it works. <laughs> not at all. But no, the thing is, if you're going to go and tune in, if you're an OAN viewer and you see that disclaimer, the first thing you may think is, oh, well, that's great. Let's not forget one major, to me, one major part of that was everything expressed here is his opinion only, man. And that's it. So if we're about to watch this takedown called Absolute Proof, 
of opinion. I'm not sure where the the thought process goes to yeah. people that are watching. But just in case they, they you know they decide to hang on for this fact based uh, uh, endeavor, um, let's listen to one of the things that uh, Lindell had to say at the beginning to make sure he showed who he was really talking about. He gets all the names and 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 uh, faces correct. Let's listen to him here. This is going to reveal all the evil in our country. All the criminals in the country, all the ones that tried to suppress this, and that's just from social media, like Jack Dorsey, like Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> in case you didn't know, Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg are on the case. You got to make sure you uh, expose them for what they are. I'm not sure how much preparation he went of this, but you know. So listen, a couple of things here. Uh, first. Um, I'm, I happen to mention online today that uh, uh, Mike Lindell is a, a theoretically recovering uh, crack addict, and that's true. He is, um, and and he's admitted that. So it's it, and and it's and if you're actually recovering, then God bless your heart. And there's nothing wrong with quote unquote admitting that, right? Um, so, but s- some are not convinced that he's recovering, uh, and so uh, a majority of Republicans agree with this guy. And so be aware of that. So it might be that reason or other reasons for his mental, him being mentally unbalanced that has led him to take Mark Zuckerberg and turn into Zuckerbuck, right? But it also feels a little anti Semitic, which would not be off brand for today's right wing. What is Zuckerbuck? That's not a thing. But you know, here we are, the guys who blame Soros and Rothschild for everything, all of a sudden he's Zuckerbuck. I definitely thought it was an old man moment, but I mean, just you know, I, like, I you know, my, my father may say Mark Zuckerbuck. Actually, if I say Zuckerberg, he go, who's that? And he's on his site all the time. Um, but either way it goes, the hits continue to come. But the thing is, I want you guys to pay attention to, um, first off, it gets funnier and funnier as it went. It wasn't more proof, it was just funny. I want you guys to listen to uh, the, like, the ominous nature of this uh, next clip or two, and then we'll have see if it really worked for us. Let's let's listen to this next one. If China could avoid the U.S. coming to Taiwan's defense, and we've seen indications of that already, and if China could avoid uh, having to fight a, a campaign to protect their man-made islands to extend their territorial waters into uh, international navigable waterways, if they could in- invest a billion dollars to do that versus fighting a war. Well, they've made a pretty good investment. And right. all the money that they've made into the Biden family, all the money that they've made and invested into US universities and US businesses, buying up our medical and our technical intellectual property, stealing a lot more than they bought. They are, they are fighting a war and people just don't realize that we're under attack. This is the problem. Uh, the problem is that we're not put enough ominous music under every time we talk about someone that's doing nefarious things or has evil intentions because apparently the audience does not pick up on it unless there's boom, 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 boom. Jung, jung, jung. If you're talking about China with their silent war on the United States, you can talk about all those things and try to convince folks of exactly what's happening, how they paid off the Bidens to win the election or steal it or change the voting machines. I'm not sure which part of the scenario this goes to, but as long as there's ominous music, it's believable. I'm not. I always wonder how you can talk to an audience, and then put things in it like that that are obviously there to scare them, as if you're watching a thriller about someone being kidnapped, and then that's supposed to work. I really want to get like I want to get like an exit interview from anyone who watched this and be like, so did it convince you? And then what? It's playing for 12 hours straight. Like that, if anything, is true propaganda. And I know that it's gonna be embedded in some people's minds, unfortunately. And also the fact that what, they're out here spewing this as though they're facts. Cuz we saw in that wonderful disclaimer how they said, "Oh, it's opinion only. Yeah, no, if you are purporting something to be a fact, and you're also on a news network, the thought is that it may be a fact. But it's just, it's unfortunate in toto the fact that they are really airing this. Um, but I'm guessing they were probably paid a lofty amount. Yeah, you know, I hadn't considered JR's point about how <laughs> they're like, big disclaimer, what you're about to hear is totally full of crap. The name of the show is Absolute Proof. <laughs> okay, but, but it'll sound more proofy 
if you do jong 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 <laughs> as you're talking about the scary Chinese. But you know, the conclusion I came to guys is that man, the Chinese blew it. Uh, the, their government is usually uh, smart, right? They, they're pretty strategic, um, but they missed the golden opportunity. As he was talking about ta taking Taiwan, I'm sure that the Chinese government, if they could, if they had their druthers, would take Taiwan. And Taiwan's very concerned about that. My wife's family's from Taiwan, so I know all about that. You know, if China had said to had said to Trump, "We'll put up a Trump Tower in in Beijing and give you twenty million dollars as a licensing fee," they could have had Taiwan. <laughs> they they blew it. I'm serious. You think Trump would have showed up? Oh, we don't want to get involved. You know, it's just, I told you I'm against foreign interventions and wars. And you know, in Taiwan, they got to be paying a bigger bill for their defense, and they weren't. So you know, it is what it is. So uh, surprisingly poor strategy by the Chinese. They could have bought Taiwan for about 20 million bucks off of Trump. I like to notice uh, as things progress, and although this next and then final clip, I, I promise, um, is from the same uh, broadcast that Lindell had, but the music. Somehow intensified because this might be a little more dangerous than the Chinese paying uh, paying off Joe Biden to steal the election. Uh, it actually has to do with people that were discovering what was happening, but there was another no name group called They um, that decided to stop them. And when it hits, you will feel it in your soul. Check it out. And they began to try to have a series of classified briefings within their own group in order to push this uh, up up the chain and they got about one or two levels up and then they met a solid wall of resistance that basically said leave it alone don't pursue it wow and what do you what do you think being now now we're, we're here telling the facts on the show here but in your mind why would they do that what this is just uh, subjectively why would why would you why would they do that in your mind i don't know mike you can't explain it i mean this is okay I don't know, Mike, how can they pull this off? The call is from inside the house, the murderer is under your bed. Do people really buy that? Come on, man, no, this is entertainment. Actually, I think I might watch the movie in two parts because the main reason I haven't seen that last Avengers movie is because it's three and a half hours long. I have to watch it in sections. So maybe I should watch this in sections, You know, just maybe a boring Saturday night chill, hang out and just watch, have a beer and just see how much you can enjoy the hits. I haven't seen a good comedy in a long time. Yeah, no, you're almost there, JR. Um, no, get high, really high, <laughs> then watch that and <laughs> it'll do things to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the Chinese stole the election in cahoots with the dead Hugo Chavez and but yet Republicans believe this, and then I'm the bad guy for pointing out they've lost their minds. Um, like, and then they always like, why would they do that? Oh, because of Hugo Chavez. <laughs> like, and and for, we make fun of it because it's the dumbest, craziest thing we've ever seen. And for Republicans, they're like, nailed it. Uh, <laughs> and and look. Um, since they're throwing around crap with a disclaimer, here I'll do a disclaimer of my own comment. And it's not even a fact or absolute proof, it's just a question. But nonetheless, I'll do a disclaimer. The views you're about to hear are the opinions of Cenk Uger. In fact, they're not even opinions, they're speculation. Um, now, and I'm gonna get your legal advice on this, Adrian, afterwards. Um, now, if I ran a 12 hour documentary about how Mike Lindell stuffs uh, his pillows with dead bodies, uh, would I be good? Would I be good? I'm, say, I'm saying, like, look, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if he's stuffing his pillows with dead bodies. I'm just people are asking, and and was there a rational reason to do it? There isn't. And is China helping? I don't know. Is Hugo <laughs> Chavez orchestrating it? I don't know. But we're just asking questions, Adrian. Absolutely, and those questions. Definitely could expose you to legal liability. Uh, you know, when we like to state things as facts that are uh, not necessarily accurate or true, uh, it would definitely be something I would encourage you to retract if given the opportunity. Uh, <laughs> even though, as far as uh, Lindell is going here, I just really wonder how he's running anything. Um, yeah, and I hope he really writes his ship because it sounds like he's going to be writing a few checks uh, in the event that there are more lawsuits.
this is what I'm trying. I'm sorry, my last thought. This is what I'm trying to figure out because as I was watching this, however many however many dollars did he put? He committed to this. I don't know. That, that's a two thousand. That's a good question because I, you know, in looking him up, I'm like, he's only worth 300 million. Like, that's poor in Bezos' world. Like, I'm like, where is he doing with his money? You can't play around like that, not in this economy. So, I, I mm, no. And like, and most, yeah. and but just go, go, go. real quick, sorry, DJ, uh, to address what Adrian's saying, like most Republicans, he's gone bankrupt several times before. Um, so, like, you think he's got this thing on lockdown? I mean, look, I, people hate me for saying it, but he he went bankrupt several times, partly due to his crack habit. So if you think he can't run out of money this time, I, I'd think again. You think that guy's smart enough to figure out how to keep the money after whatever scam he ran here? And by the way, the Better Business Bureau at one point gave my pillow an F rating because they weren't. You're going to be shocked to find out they were not delivering what they said they were going to deliver to their customers. <gasps> Mike Lindell lying, <laughs> <laughs> scandal. No one could have seen it coming. But I'll still go to the front of Bed Bath and Beyond and see Mike Pil- Mike Pillow, Mike Lindell hugging a pillow and an image with a bunch of my pillows. So he's found a way to at least get his product enough in enough households and in enough stores that people know who he is. But then the commitment probably to a Republican president like Trump is because of tax breaks or getting some kind of money back. But you're wasting money on this production and potentially on a lawsuit. Where's the thought process for being so fiscally responsible with your money that you're trying to save it because everyone else are idiots. They don't know how to, what to do with their money, but he's spending it on this. They'll go through so many links to not spend their money on normal things like paying for what they should with everyone that everyone else does. But they'll be willing to risk their entire business over trying to support a president because he would help them get that. It, it doesn't seem like it ends in a very positive place for him. I don't know. Yeah, but that you're presupposing that he's thinking rationally. Doesn't look like he's thinking rationally. <laughs> uh, so, but based on excellent legal advice from Adrian Lawrence, I would like to end this clip by saying uh, the TYT network it does not have absolute proof that Mike Lindell is stuffing his pillows with dead bodies. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.